All right, we're all done with the dry femoral catheter. Uh, now we're just gonna sort of frog leg his knee outward and go ahead and do the uh, actual block, the single shot saphenous block. Uh, and then again, in the PACU, we'll assess him for discomfort. Uh, if he has sciatic type pain, which about one out of every four to one out of every five of our patients do have, uh, when we do these ACL reconstructions with patellar grafts, uh, we'll go ahead and rescue that pain with a lateral ultrasound guided popliteal sciatic block, uh, which invariably takes that pain away. Now, uh, if there's still pain that's uh, non-sciatic pain uh, that exists, then we'll bolus the femoral catheter and consider that a saphenous failure. Uh, if there is no pain, if the patient's pain-free with a uh, saphenous plus or minus a popliteal sciatic, we'll consider that a saphenous success, and then he'll start his femoral catheter tonight. So as soon as we do this saphenous block, we'll go ahead and assess him in the PACU when the, when the surgery's done and determine if this was a successful uh, or a failed saphenous block. We'll start about mid-thigh in our scan for the saphenous nerve, and the two identifying landmarks we're going to be looking for are the sartorius muscle uh, and the femoral artery. Okay, this is another view of the uh, ultrasound probe location here. we got a picture in picture there. Notice you can see the pulsatile femoral artery in the middle of the screen there. And just superficial to that, above that artery, and almost like a baleen whale shaped, uh, is the sartorius muscle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan down the leg until you see the artery start to dive away from the sartorius muscle and then back up the leg until it's just under the sartorius muscle. It's at that location, that distal most location where I see the, the artery just deep to the muscle that I want to block the saphenous nerve. And you can see his saphenous nerve pretty clearly. It's at about, relative to the femoral artery, about mm, eight o'clock or so. Hy bright white, hyperechoic, just deep to sartorius, transartorial, subsartorial, uh, and just, just uh, anterior lateral to the artery at about, uh, like I said, eight o'clock. So we'll hydro dissect under that nerve and above the nerve, and then we'll also infiltrate some local anesthesia uh, above the artery as well. Let's do a little chlorhexidine prep. Okay, big bee sting. It's just a 22 gauge Tui needle. And you know, pop down below Sartorius. Okay, so we get a nice view of our needle and plane there. You can see the tip of it is just under Sartorius, just under the nerve itself. So we're going to aspirate and give two cc's. You might feel some pressure here, sir. Okay, one more cc there. Okay, now I'm just going to pull back and kind of walk over the top of the nerve and under the under the muscle. How to dissect between muscle and artery now. One cc there. One cc. One more. One more. So I sort of briefly popped above muscle again. Okay, one more cc there. Okay, and then we're just going to flatten out and try to peel that artery away from the muscle. Hydro dissect the muscle off the artery. Two more cc slowly. Two more and two left. One there. Okay, and then slowly get the last one. Okay. So we'll take the needle out. Got our pulsatile femoral artery. Got the sartorius muscle just above it, like a baleen whale shaped. And then with local anesthesia now completely encircling it, you see the saphenous nerve at about the eight o'clock position relative to the artery. You can follow up the leg a little bit and still see it encircled with local. Follow it down the leg. Still see it in circle with local anesthesia. Okay, and that's 10 cc's of half percent bupivacaine with epinephrine. Okay, I'll freeze that image.
So, uh, so we've done steps one and two. Uh, femoral nerve block catheter placed dry without local anesthesia, and a saphenous single shot block placed with local anesthesia. The next step will be to assess the patient for pain and PACU. If there's sciatic pain, we'll block the sciatic. Uh, and if after a, a saphenous single shot, plus or minus a sciatic block, there is no pain, that will be a successful saphenous block. If there remains pain, that will be considered a failure, and we'll go ahead and bolus the femoral catheter. So we'll check back in postoperatively.